TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have a slightly mixed bag out here. The Dow is up 38 points, and the S&P went just slightly negative. It's back to a green up 30 cents out there, but it's flat. The NDX is uh, was up uh, over 2%. Now up three tenths of a percent, 42. Uh, and look, while that spot volatility remains above its 50 day exponential moving average, which it is right now, the spot is printing out at 35, 37. Uh, any of these rug pulls, uh, any bad news uh, out there, you know, you're going to see these uh, quick and fast and steep declines. And that's what we've seen out here. Uh, you've got the uh, semis up 80 points. They were up like 5% earlier. Train is up 53. That's three tenths of a percent. Uh, what's not giving it up is gold, up nearly 3%, 56 bucks. Silver is up a buck uh, thirteen. That's four and a half percent. Light recruit is up five and three tenths. That's six percent out there. I haven't even looked at commodities for a while, uh, but uh, we did have uh, wheat didn't trade limit up this morning. That's the first time in uh, two or three trading sessions. But let's actually go switch over and take a look at our indice charts. And as we look at our indice charts out here, you'll get a feel for what's really gone on or what has transpired, what's taken place so far. And that is in each of the indice charts that you're looking at, you'll notice the red oscillator and change lines. And what price has done is price has gotten up there. That's a natural level of support or resistance. Because we're below it, it's a natural level of resistance. And what did price do? It got up tagged it and turned back down. Now a red oscillator and change line and closing below it is a bearish message directionally speaking. Meaning you should expect and anticipate lower price. Why is that? Because we have a, the message is it's a falling price oscillator below zero. What's a price oscillator? It's a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average. That is what Stevie uses to create these tools out there because it is rocket science. And they're really key levels. You see the Dow rejected it. The S&P rejected it. The NDX 100 rejected it. The Russell, which was the strongest, rejected it. The semis rejected it. The transports rejected it. And I'm, I'm not worried right now about the XAU and the spot volatilities. But if I were to show you the NASDAQ composite, it rejected it. That the New York Stock Exchange never even made it all the way up there. So what does this say? As long as price remains below those red oscillator and change line, it says that what price really wants to do is go target those January 24th lows. Folks, you know what you want might want to do is look at your charts i know that the xlk tested and so far rejected i believe it's january 24th swing but maybe it's going to take it out xlc as well both of those have at least tested intraday stay tuned for david white he's up next have a terrific tuesday i'll see you in about one minute.